Frederica Nilches on Lisa, Blackpink, undressing and throwing clothes at Crazy Horse. Among the many fans who came to cheer for Lisa's performance at Crazy Horse, the most notable figure was Fred Ricano. Naturally, his actions and expressions were closely observed and meticulously narrated by the audience. Yesterday marked the second day of Lisa's Crazy Horse performance. Everything seemed to go smoother for Lisa as the general expectation was that the acts wouldn't be as provocative as some had thought. One interesting detail is that many members of Fred Ricanolt's family also came to watch Lisa perform. Many fans even noticed that Fred Ricanolt's parents were in attendance. This contrasts with the Eastern culture, where such a scenario might be considered unusual. This is also a reason why the opposition from Asian fans has been so strong. Through this incident, we can also see that the performance at Crazy Horse Cabaret in Paris, France, is truly an artistic performance rather than as risque as many typical nightclub performances in Thailand. Throughout the performance at Crazy Horse, Jizu couldn't hide her embarrassment and continuously covered her eyes. Meanwhile, Rose was believed to be more comfortable. Both of them were constantly laughing and appeared extremely radiant whenever Lisa appeared. At the end of the show, Jizu stood up and shouted Lisa's name, then made a heart gesture with Rose. Rose made Lalas a sign and showed excitement after Lisa's performance. According to fans who purchased tickets to attend, Lisa appeared a total of six times in different outfits and showcased her dance skills. One audience member mentioned that the Thai Idol performed four solo songs and participated in two-stroke three short segments with the dancers. In the crisis act, Lisa transformed into an office worker under pressure from the stock market crash. She gradually removed her clothes and threw them to the audience. The idol did not go for the nude but wore lingerie. It is worth noting that Lisa's special debut performance had the presence of many special guests, including the Blackpink sisterhood consisting of Jizu and Rosé, who were in France to show their support. One billionaire Fred Ricano and members of his family from the LVMH conglomerate, actor Austin Butler, Kaya Gerber, and Rosalia, were also in attendance to enjoy the performance by the Thai beauty. Crazy Horse Cabaret is known as a famous spot for celebrities and the super rich, so security was extremely tight. No phones, belts, glasses, wallets, etc., were allowed, and no photography or recording of any kind was permitted. Information about the performance was only revealed through ticket purchasers. Some of Lisa's fans also bought tickets to enjoy the show. It is known that Lisa transformed into a crazy girl with pink wig and changed into six different outfits for the performance. She performed six songs, including four solo tracks, along with the passionate dancers from the cabaret. Many fans of the idol waited outside the venue to take photos with her. Despite receiving praise from European audiences, Lisa has sparked anger among both knit and net communities due to her scanty clothing and gestures that were deemed inappropriate for East Asian culture. Currently, Lisa's performance is the number one hot search topic, attracting over 40 million views on Weibo. Most of the audience believes that the 1997-born idol has achieved the desired promotional effect but has also harmed her own brand. Prior to Lisa, her sister Jenny also faced controversy when she played a rebellious character and dressed provocatively in the recently released film The Idol. Immediately after the performance, images of Lisa posing with the dancers and the nightclub's crew were posted and spread at lightning speed. As per the shared images, Lisa wore a pink wig and a sexy outfit that showcased her alluring curves. It's worth noting that while the other dancers wore provocative outfits, almost 90% revealing, and did not wear tops, Lisa's costume was designed to be more modest, covering up her chest area to avoid any overt exposure. Following her impressive debut, fans gathered in front of the bar to meet the black pink beauty. On South Korean social media and China's Weibo, there were numerous negative reactions. Covering her bare chest with her hand, seriously, what is this, thanks to her, I only just found out about that strip show. I didn't even know it existed. So many thoughts are running through my head, the dancers around her are stripping completely and covering their breasts with their hands, while Lisa stands in the middle, wearing a specially designed outfit to conceal what needs to be concealed and smiling, it's ridiculous. She can do anything she wants, 
but what she chose to do is participate in a strip show with the privilege of not going completely nude. These were some of the comments from the Korean audience on community forums. It's evident that Lisa's participation in the performance at Crazy Horse sparked a wide range of reactions, with some fans and observers questioning her choice and the contrast between her attire and that of the other dancers. The controversy surrounding her appearance underscores the complexities of crossing cultural boundaries and the different expectations that fans and audiences may have in diverse parts of the world. Crazy Horse, where art meets entertainment in Paris. In the heart of the enchanting city of Paris, there exists a world-renowned cabaret that has long captivated audiences with its unique blend of artistry and entertainment. The Crazy Horse, a legendary establishment, stands as a testament to the harmonious union of dance, music, and creativity, presented in a sophisticated and artistic form that transcends mere titillation. While cabarets are often associated with risk a performances, Crazy Horse takes a distinctive path, celebrating the beauty of the human form through a lens of art and elegance. A History of Elegance and Artistry Crazy Horse was founded in 1951 by Alain Bernardin and has since become a symbol of Parisian culture. The cabaret was named after the famous Native American chief, Crazy Horse, known for his bravery and mystique, which set the stage for the venue's intriguing and enigmatic atmosphere. From the very beginning, Crazy Horse distinguished itself by embracing artistic creativity in a manner that defied convention. Instead of relying solely on provocative and suggestive performances, the cabaret's ethos revolves around the celebration of sensuality, artistic expression, and the human form. The Art of Dance and Light One of the hallmarks of Crazy Horse is its innovative use of lighting and projection to create an otherworldly visual experience. The dancers, adorned in elaborate costumes and often very little else, become part of a living canvas where the interplay of light and shadow accentuates their grace and allure. This unique approach to choreography and visual design has solidified Crazy Horse's status as a temple of artistic innovation. Collaborations with renowned artists Over the years, Crazy Horse has collaborated with a wide array of esteemed artists and designers, including the likes of Christian Louboutin, Karl Lagerfeld, and Dieter von Thies. These collaborations have elevated the cabaret's performances, infusing them with a sense of haute couture and avant-garde creativity. A diverse cast of dancers. The cabaret boasts an ensemble of talented and diverse dancers who are not only captivating in their beauty but also incredibly skilled in their crafts. These artists undergo rigorous training to perfect their performances, demonstrating dedication and passion for their art. Respect for Tradition and Innovation While Crazy Horse holds a deep respect for its traditions, it continues to evolve and embrace innovation. The cabaret's ability to stay relevant while preserving its core values is a testament to its enduring appeal. The Cultural Significance Crazy Horse has transcended the boundaries of entertainment and become a cultural icon. It's not just a venue for a night out. It's a destination for those seeking to immerse themselves in an artistic experience that is both timeless and contemporary. Celebrities, artists, and art enthusiasts from around the world have found themselves drawn to the allure of Crazy Horse. In a city that has long been synonymous with art and culture, Crazy Horse stands as a beacon of creativity and sophistication. It reminds us that artistic expression knows no bounds and that beauty can be found in the most unexpected places. As visitors from all corners of the globe continue to flock to this iconic cabaret, Crazy Horse's legacy as a bastion of artful entertainment remains unshaken, a testament to the enduring power of creativity and the celebration of the human form.